So after the unfortunate passing of Migos rapper Takeoff, a former music industry executive is now coming forward and exposing the dark and secret truth about what really happens in the music industry and how all these rappers keep dying. And look, I've been trying to tell y'all that the music game is one of the dirtiest games you could be in. But if you don't want to believe me, hear it for yourself from a former music industry executive. Let's check it out. Hey guys, in light of seeing that a rapper from Migos died, I just wanted to go ahead and make a video about something I have a unique experience in. So I directed a bunch of rappers, people like Gucci Mane, Snoop Dogg, you know, uh, Lil Yachty, the list goes on and on and on, okay? Mm, I learned a lot of things, um, and I have left the industry um, largely over my political beliefs, but there is something I want to impart to people to hopefully, you know, make some sort of change happen. So I have a challenge to rappers, and I know some of you still follow me. I know a bunch of the celebrity blogs still follow me from trying to get news from music videos and things like that. So here's the truth. The truth is this, a bunch of young black male rappers keep dying. You know who's not dying? Record executives. The record executives that push for them to continue to make songs and create a culture that is obsessed with death, drugs, and sex. Mm. Period. The industry is obsessed with it, but those record executives, they're not dying. Because they don't push this culture on their own people. Facts. But they're encouraging you to push it on yours, and they're paying you handsomely to do it. Woo. The reality is I know a lot of you. A lot of you are good people, your family guys. You're not the image that you put out there to the world. Why? Why don't you be the example? Stand up. I challenge you. Be the example. Make music about the culture you want to see. Mm. Don't just get online today and talk about how, you know, whenever a rapper makes it, his own people take him down. Don't just make those videos. Don't be sad. Don't rest in peace. None of that stuff. Be the change you want to see. Inspire it in your community. Reach out to other rappers and say, we have to stop. We're being used. You've been used for a long time. You know, they create this paradigm to make you believe that you're so important and your celebrity status is worth so much. But in truth, you're a pawn in their game and you always have been. Straight up. Their method in the black community has been to use entertainment to create a culture obsessed with death, drugs, sex and money. So that they could create a false paradigm of what happiness and what success really was. They want you to think you're important, but in truth, you're just doing their dirty work for them. So stop. They've empowered you in ways that are real. You have an audience. You have platforms. You have the ability to make change. So go against the grain together. They're more afraid of you all together standing up and creating a new culture that's built around family, faith, freedom, doing the right thing valuing life than they are of anything else. So I challenge you, use your power to do the right things. If you continue to do the same thing you've done, more rappers like this are going to die. That's a How fact. many have to die before you change the culture? And let me tell you something else. There's a reason the record labels pay us more to do rap videos. Uh oh. They don't tell you that, do they? Do they tell you that they pay us more to do your videos? Because they do. They do it because they know it's more dangerous. They do it because they know it's more difficult. And they do it because, frankly, there's a lot of money laundering involved. Woo! Those labels wash a bunch of money through. We don't do it. But we know the labels are doing it 100%. Wow. Okay, they're then taking the money off the top end. And you see on your royalty check, oh, they spent 150000 on this video. Did they? Because we didn't see 150000 Okay, so where did the money go? And to who? Their friend's company? A lot of times that's the case. Same well, thing with insurance companies. They charge us more to insure your videos. And it's because they know the culture that's been created. They know that the only possibility of a music video being shot up is on a rap video. Facts. And that's the truth. So change the culture. You have the power. Your people deserve it. Whoa, that dude just exposed everything, y'all. This man just kind of showed y'all the secret formula of how these music industry executives make money off the culture, pimp these artists, and ultimately continue to push a culture that celebrates death. And all we care about nowadays is sex, money, murder, drugs. I mean, this guy just exposed some serious stuff, even to the fact 
of how the record executives are robbing the rappers and giving them false statements on their royalty checks, saying that they spent $100,000 on music videos. And this music video director is saying, we don't even see the money. He's actually saying that they're laundering some of the money and putting it in shell companies and the rappers not even seeing the money they deserve. Not only that, he's exposing how they are pushing this murderous, kill, sex, money, drugs type of music on our people, but not pushing it on theirs. How come country music could win a Grammy without killing nobody? How come pop music could win Grammys and awards without killing nobody? Why is it that the rap music always got to be about dark, negative, and destructive topics? And it's literally to the point where the community has been brainwashed so much that if a rapper isn't talking about that, we don't even want to hear it. Come on, let's be real, bro. Positive rap music don't sell. A female rapper who's fully dressed and not naked don't sell no records. Come on now, we see it. One thing about this is he issued a challenge to the hip-hop community. You know one thing about people who are in the gangster rap culture, they show sure do love a challenge, don't they? See, the rap culture has been fueled with so much ego and pride that the one thing you could do to get them to respond is to challenge them. When I did my update video on Takeoff's demise and I pointed out how Quavo tried to de-escalate the situation and walk away. And a lot of people were saying, and Quavo not knowing this, that when Quavo walked away and said, man, let me get out of here before I hurt somebody. Though he was trying to de-escalate the situation and be the bigger man and walking away, a person with the wrong mentality would see Quavo's words as a challenge. And see, that's one of the problems in our community. That we only respond to what we think is a challenge. Somebody challenging your ego, challenging your manhood, testing your gangster. And so even though Quavo walked away and said, man, let me get out of here before I hurt somebody. The wrong person with a gun were here. Challenge. And so isn't it so ironic that this record executive knew in his history and time of working in the music industry with rappers. He knew exactly what to say that would trigger black people and say, I challenge you to do better. I challenge you to show the fathers that you really are. What he's saying is, guys, some of these rappers, and we ain't saying no names. We don't know who we talking about. But some of the rappers that he worked with in the music industry, he said, bro, I know y'all really family men. I know that y'all rather be in the house with your kids, but you got to go out to the club because you a rapper. And so you got to keep up that image. I know that you love your wife and you love the black woman that you marry, but you got to act like you single because you a rapper. What he's saying is a lot of these rappers can't even show y'all who they really are because they don't sell records. And so they got to bring forth an image, the same image that is encouraging some of our youth to perpetrate that same tough guy, thugged out image. And it's getting our rappers killed, y'all. It's getting our young boys killed, y'all. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's going to change. Y'all know sex sales. Y'all know death sales. If you ain't talking about murder, pow, 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 kill, the fans don't even want to listen to it. If the rapper ain't talking about murder, pow, 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 kill, the executives ain't signing you for nothing else. If you have a rapper in your family, a musician, a young man who has a gift, send them this video. We can't never stop crime totally, but at least we can save the lives of the next takeoff, the next PNB rock, the next Nipsey Hustle. I pray to God that this video inspires somebody, and I pray that it reaches the air of a young rapper somewhere in America to say, brother, you don't got to promote death. You don't got to promote murder to be a king. And look, I got to shout out the young lady who sent me this video. Shout out to Trini Hybrid on Instagram for tagging me in this video on my IG page. I appreciate supporters like her who tagged me in this video so that people can know the truth and people can see what's going on. And make sure y'all tag me in any video that y'all want me to do at Who Is Caliber on all social media platforms. I'll continue to come back to inform you, to encourage you, to enlighten you. Because somebody got to do it.